Hi guys, good morning. I am having my cup of tea right over here. And today I'm gonna film a very easy, minimal, everyday type of a makeup look. Let me know if you are a tea or a coffee person. I am definitely a tea person. I don't usually drink tea in the morning. I always prefer it during the evening time. Today I don't have lemons in my fridge, so that gift my lemon water today and I'm going in with my tea. Let's start with our makeup today. I have my favorite minimal type of a product so right in front of me. Also for my everyday makeup, I always go with minimal makeup products. Some small tips and tricks which I'm gonna show you guys in today's video. I go with my MAC Hyper Real Moisturizer, Skin Canvas Moisturizer. This moisturizer is so good. It's a very thick moisturizer but does not make your skin very oily or hydrated. Like it definitely hydrates your skin but I will say this acts beautifully well as a primer. I am not usually a primer person. I don't use primers that much. Does not make your makeup look oily. Works for all skin type, to be very honest. Get absorbed into your skin very faster. Actually for your no makeup, makeup look days, moisturizing your skin and a good moisturizer is so important. Like skin prep is something which I will highly recommend gives you a very uh, like little amount of tacky finish in a good way which actually helps your foundation or what base product you are using it sticks with your moisturizer really well trick over here is you have to keep your moisturizer for at least five minutes let it sit on your skin let it get absorbed into your skin not only your moisturizer let your sunscreen also sit in your skin for 10 to 15 minutes at least and then go with your makeup product so till then i'm gonna do my my eyebrows I will use my go-to elf eyebrow pencil this is what it looks like I really love it's really good and very quick and easy eyebrow pencil <laughs> the trick over here is with the spoolie you I think this part is so important for me because I definitely need to blend my eyebrow pencil and it just makes such a huge difference use this BB burst gel and this is the tinted gel cream which I will use for today's makeup look you can go with any tinted moisturizer or uh, any lightweight type of a foundation I will say skip a foundation because it's like not at all preferable for me personally for my everyday makeup look but if you want a little bit of foundation on your skin you can definitely go with it 23 by the way which is their medium neutral shade it comes with a pump packaging like this and it contains this beautiful gel type of a finish and it's very lightweight this is what the texture looks like you can definitely see this is like a very thin layer of gel like a cream gel and a foundation mixture so i'm going to use this on my face you can definitely blend it with your fingers but i am going to go with my makeup sponge because i want it to be as natural as minimal as possible so first i'm going to blend it with my fingers <laughs> This is the before and after. This is without any um, tinted cr gel cream. And this side with the tinted gel cream. I have a more oily skin. I will say uh, skip this product. I have a combination skin so it suits my skin tone really well. If you have a more oily skin then definitely go with the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. <music> I'm gonna go with this Natasha Denona High Clam Concealer and I have this in the shade YN9. It's a beautiful concealer especially for my skin tone. I sometimes use this as my base product as well. This is 
what the finish of this concealer looks like. I have a lot of dark circles under my eyes. It's definitely a must have product for me. I have to use a little bit of concealer. Even if I'm not using a foundation, I always go in with a concealer. I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and I'm just going to set my face very lightly. Taking this uh, brush from e.l.f., this is their Complexion Duo brush and this is like a new brush in my collection and I'm really loving it. You get like a side like this with which you can use it for your powder, foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer and this side uh, for your, you know, specific areas, eyeshadow or maybe nose contouring, a really good product. I'm gonna move on to my bronzer and blush. So for my bronzer, I'm gonna use this Persona Cosmetics uh, bronzing bronze multi stick in the shade Dune and for my blush I will use a gel serum blush from Revlon this is like a new product for me so here I have both the products by the way the blush is in the shade 110 first I'm gonna start with my uh, bronzer from Persona Cosmetics this this is what it looks like I love Persona Cosmetics products. I have so many blush from uh, this brand and also a cream bronzer. I'm looking for, like I'm very interested to try out the lip liners and the highlighter that they have, like a cream multi-stick highlighter. <music> bronzer and blush just a quick tip how you can apply your blush naturally by the way this blush is very natural like a gel cream blush but what I always do I go in with my blush and then I just take it from here and I blend it right over here which makes it very very natural looking I try to blend this section as well with my blush and I take it a little bit downward not on the apple of my cheeks directly but I just slowly take it right over here and blend it really well so this way it can look more natural very flushy blendable at the same time it's just like a C right over here so this blush is very natural looking so I'm gonna go in with a powder blush this is from Dior and this is the rosy glow blush in the shade 001 pink I'm gonna take my same brush and I will try to use it just to just like setting my cream blush with a powder blush and it actually makes it very long lasting at the same time. I'm not taking too much, just a little bit. Have a beautiful eyeshadow uh, stick, like a one and an eyeshadow stick. Now this is not an eyeshadow stick. I talked about this product um, I think in my Sephora haul. And this is the lip and cheek pencil in the shade Pixie, which is like a not so they are your eyelid color but better type of a multi stick. You can use this on your cheeks as well, but I am going to only use this on my eyes. This is what it looks like. beautiful this color is I'm just so obsessed with how it looks I just love nude sticks as a brand and I just want to try all their products but they're expensive so I can't buy all of them obviously so this is what it looks like you can see it gives you a beautiful flush of color 
but it's so natural looking at the same time. Glowing already, so I'm not going in with my highlighter. I usually don't wear that much highlighter because my I just want my base makeup and my moisturizer to peek through my face and it gives you like a very natural, healthy type of a glow. So I don't usually go with my highlighter, but whenever my skin is not glowing that much, and I want that extra glow, I go with my highlighter. Apply a little bit of mascara. Now my face is... So here's the lip combination that I'm gonna use. Kali Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Ginger. And with that, I am gonna use this Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wood Pink color. And uh, it's not like your regular liquid lipstick. It's extremely lightweight and gives you such a beautiful natural finish. makeup look what guys think let me know in the comments down below this is my type of a look this is my favorite type of a look obviously i don't do this step every single day but whenever i go out for a lunch dinner or maybe some shopping i always do this type of look and it just makes my makeup super flawless and it gives me the perfect amount of not so their makeup minimal makeup look and also if i want this to stay for a really long time i will definitely go in with my setting spray i use a one from urban decay you guys think let me know in the comments down below i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye